Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to load a blank page as your default new tab page when you're opening up your Microsoft Edge in Windows 10. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial here, guys. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. Quick forewarning though, this tutorial will not apply for Windows 10 Home Edition because we're going to be working through the Group Policy Editor. So basically any version of Windows 10 higher than Home, such as Professional, Enterprise, Education, along those lines should be applicable for this tutorial. And we're going to jump into it like I said. So start by opening up the Start menu, type in Group Policy, Best Match should come back with Edit Group Policy. Go ahead and left click on that. Now, underneath Computer Configuration, you want to expand the Administrative Templates directly under this section. So don't do the one underneath User Configuration, you want to do the one underneath Computer Configuration. So expand that. So either double-click on Administrative Templates or left-click on a little arrow next to it to expand the drop-down. Do the same thing for the Windows Components folder. And now you want to locate Microsoft Edge. So go ahead and left-click on that. Now on the right side there should be something that says allow web content on new tab page. So I just want to really look for it here. So go ahead and double click on that. So if you want to enable web content on new tab pages you want to select not configured. If you want to select enabled that will mean that web content will be enabled on new tab pages and disabled will disable web content on new tab pages. So for the purpose of this video we're going to select disabled and then select apply and OK. You can see it's very easily reversible. The default configuration in my situation was not configured so if you want to go back in here just change it to not configured if you have a change of mind. But pretty straightforward process here guys. Do about to be able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.